Max Spears fue un super soldado. Él hablaba sobre conspiraciones, la élite, magia negra, bases militares, los Anunnakis, etc. La muerte de Max Spears fue todo un misterio. Él murió a la edad de 39 años. Fue encontrado sin vida en el sofá de un apartamento en Varsovia, Polonia. Él había ido a dar unas pláticas en unas conferencias sobre sus experiencias y conspiraciones. Aquí está una de sus últimas entrevistas que le hicieron. Vean el video, amigos, y ustedes saquen sus propias conclusiones. Comenzamos. Today we are meeting Max Spears, a super soldier, and let's see what happens on the world now. Hello, Max. Hi, how are you? Uh, you are from Great Britain. Yeah, I was born in Great Britain. I spent half of my life in the US, but I was mm -hmm. born in Great Britain. Okay, and uh, yesterday during the Project Earth Uh, you explained that uh, you were involved in uh, Oak Tree Project. Uh, you were one of the 42 children. Mm, not quite. Not mm, quite. No. Project Oak Tree is a separate project which is to do with uh, finding the, the mothers to house the children. Uh -huh. The Project Oak Tree is about, was about finding the mothers um, who had specific wombs that would be able to house the children who would be born in the 1970s, which is connected to, um, I'm going to say Ibis, but um, I don't know if it goes by that name, but it's a name that's been thrown around. I think it has other names too. Mm -hmm. okay. And there are other parallel projects similar to this one too. Okay, uh, the, the, the word super soldier uh, sounds like... Uh, I don't like that. Uh, you were involved in uh, my lab. Is it true? Uh, well, what, so it would depend how you would define the word my lab. Do you know what my lab means? Uh, okay, explain. Military um, laboratory experiment. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of the time when people think that they've been abducted by greys or ETs, in fact, um, it's a military abduction instead, and they uh, implant memories into your mind to make it seem as though you've been taken to Mars or taken um, to uh, uh, um, a ship when in fact you've been in, in, a, in, a, in a dam, which is an a, a underground military base. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, there's a, a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's start uh, from uh, the topic of Mars. Uh, there is a place in Arizona where <coughs> there's a special portal called Jump Room where you can jump from Earth to Mars, and you did it. You were involved in some and mission. No, I don't know if it's particularly in Arizona. I just have memories of um, I have memories of um, going to Mars. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you remember? Well, see, I don't remember it like that. Okay, I'm two different specific memories. Um, okay, the first one um, involves me being in what was like a hotel room with a red carpet and believe it or not um, uh, the the current president of the United States was sitting cross-legged on a carpet facing a fire facing a fire okay fireplace and I went up to him and um, we started speaking to each other and I called him sir and I have no idea why, I just, it was, ins I instinctively called him sir. He told me then, uh, follow the stairs up to the top and go through the red door. When you go through the red door, there's a, a military commander at the other end of the room. And so I followed, so he was very, he was very cordial and very nice to me. Um, I followed through into the room, um, met up with this man with insignias, military insignia on there. He wasn't so nice, he had a big grin on his face. And then um, uh, there was another, a lot of doorways, another doorway, a red doorway. I go through the red doorway and then black out. 
okay? The next thing I know, I'm in um, a, a, a military base. Um, I can tell I'm in a military base because there's lots of people around with um, um, military garb insignia on around me. I could well have not been, but I'm going by my perception. Um, and uh, that was what I am assuming to be a jump room. So when I open the door, um, flash, n amnesia, no memory, then all of a sudden I'm there. This is the first one. The second, the second time, um, I was in some form of ship. Um, I was definitely a ship. <clears throat> and I was in uh, out of the atmosphere, and um, I was moving very, very, very high, high pace. And then there was a screen to the right of me, and it said on the screen, "One minute to Mars, fifty seconds to Mars, forty seconds to Mars, thirty seconds to Mars, twenty seconds to Mars, ten seconds to Mars." And then flash, bright flash like that, and then I'm back in the same place again so two different ways mm -hmm. it's interesting because that was and this was in 2008 okay not too long after that um, a band uh, a musical band came out that is called 30 seconds to Mars and I remember distinctly seeing on this thing it doing the countdown and it said 30 seconds to Mars on it so mm -hmm. you know we can you can play with that and okay so, yeah what do you remember from Mars not very much. Not very much. I remember being herded around with other men who looked similar to me. It seems it seems as though all um, the uh, okay all the men or, 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 or young men who who were there with me were all about the same dynamic, same same um, uh, six foot two, uh, hundred ninety pounds, similar build, uh, s similar hair color similar features we were all roughly the same sort of size mm -hmm. all men though all men mm -hmm. um, I see I, I don't have I don't have um, uh, um, lots and lots of memories of Mars I just I have I have these okay so let's jump to uh, some ancient topics mm. uh, Anunnaki Elohim <coughs> today mm. how do you perceive them are okay. they still here they never left. Okay. Okay. They never left. Um, so first of all, what we're going to have to um, define what you think Elohim means. Uh, what, what are you referring to when you say Elohim? Elohim. I think uh, there are people like we, but they have um, the ability, the the DNA, which allows them to survive hundreds or thousands of years well the word l okay so the, this is the truth of it yeah. the word l has been used and inverted throughout time um it doesn't mean fallen angel um l was always associated with god too mm -hmm. um so they've you know if you look at all of the archangels you'll find each one of them ends in the word el right yes yes in Hebrew. right 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 or uh, this word also was changed as Il or Li uh, or sure reversed yeah. yes yeah 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 that's why you have <clears throat> a very uh, very very powerful bloodline in China called uh, which is the Li mm -hmm. Li bloodline is either L I or L E E uh, mm -hmm. Bruce Lee connected yes, to yes. this line too mm -hmm. they are a lot of those are, um, well, Bruce Lee was an ascended master an Orion ascended master who came down here to teach. Um, and who who they killed? And he lived thirty three years. Now, of course, of course, you know. Okay, so you have the master numbers eleven, twenty two, and thirty three. Yes. He had achieved um, thirty three, which would be total enlightenment. Uh, so, so eleven is um, pure understanding. Twenty two is the master architect, the builder, the builder of all, and thirty three is the combination of both of um, enlightenment and. Um, and the ability to, to, to be a creator. 22 is, means architectural master. Okay, so just yeah. a slight detour okay. there. Go back to L. Uh, L, yes. Um, so uh, uh, it depends because the Bible has been inverted and switched around and, uh, you know, or, or so much. What, so the question is, what, for me, what, what are they? Um, 
It would de- it would it would depend. I mean, what are they originally? They're they're angelic, high vibrational, um, high high uh, density beings, who are here to for the benefit of um, releasing this uh, encaged prison matrix system that is in place. Mm-hmm. So you you would you say that Sitchin wrote the truth? Um, I, I've, I've seen rich, uh, Sitchin at um, rituals, um, uh, satanic rituals, before. I would say that he's about 60% accurate. 60, only 60. Mm. Okay, but so so it means that uh, those... Uh, And that's not implying that I was at those rituals, just to make sure nobody thinks that I was. Okay. In my Sometimes I can I remote view, so I look on and I'm able to see what's going on there. But the Sumerian tablets mm-hmm. were true. Only his translation was distorted. Intentionally. Yes. Yes. Because he cooperated with Rothschild and Absolutely. Yeah. He works for them or worked for them. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to Anunnaki Elohim. Mm-hmm. Okay, well we did the Elohim, didn't we? What else did you want to know about the Elohim? Uh, what is the the difference between Anunnaki and Elohim? They're not even remotely the same. There's nothing. There's nothing similar about them. Um, uh, um, the okay. At the word Anunnaki in and of itself means uh, people from the stars, right? So yeah. So like uh, today we say aliens. Right. Right. It has become a term used for a specific for a specific type of alien, though. Um, so you have. But but this is a, re- a repeat, uh, uh, like you know you have the Osiris, Isis, Horus story, or you have Semiramis, um, and her son Tammuz, and Nim- Semiramis, Nimrod, and Tammuz, um, and Christ, um, uh, or God, uh, Christ, and Mary. These are all the tr- trinities that that um are the same story the same principle mm-hmm. okay so with um with the anunnaki you have anu and then you have enki and then you have uh enlil mm-hmm. um uh, uh, in my opinion um so anu would be the overlord the overseer perhaps like jehovah would uh, principally the, like like jehovah and for him to come down and live as a physical being he would have to um uh it's about it's uh, one of the big secrets of, of freemasonry is is that the father becomes the son so let, let let's use just let, let's use egypt as an example because it's 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 an easy example so the war went on between osiris and set yes. okay dark and light yes yes yeah Um Set gathered together 72 of his um cohorts and betrayed Osiris and stabbed him and then cut him up into 13 pieces mm-hmm. and scattered them across the planet. Okay. With um then Isis with the help of um a couple of others who are less important in my opinion. Um, Isis then came, um, she found uh, the pieces, but she didn't find the phallus. Okay, so she put them together, but she couldn't find the phallus. She knew that she needed to continue and propagate that bloodline because it was critical to what is happening now. If that bloodline hadn't continued, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing now. Okay, Okay. so she created, through magic, a golden phallus. Then she made love to uh, uh, Osiris that way, and then uh, then Horus, Horus was born. Yes. But the truth of that is, Horus is Osiris reborn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hor- okay. Horus is so Horus is Osiris. They are not separate beings. Mm-hmm. They're one and the same thing. So then the battle continued uh, between Horus and Set. And went on and on. Set then took uh, uh, Horus's eye, uh, took his eye out. So um, and Set, 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 you could say Setian. The Setian consciousness is the um, is the is the dark, probably satanic 
uh, vampiric, parasitic consciousness that's that's here, right? So uh, Set took Horus's eye. Um, and then when you see in the entertainment industry, when you see all the time yes. This, yes. Th doing this. this, you know the reason they're doing this? The reason they're doing this is they're saying, ha ha ha, we got, your, you, we got, we got his eye. We, got, we took his eye. So it's mocking. It's mm -hmm. mocking Horus. It's mocking the good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so where are we at? Which, uh, so, so these cycles that these cycles that have gone on, um, I, could, I could give you ten other ones. Is the, of the same principle. So the sun is born on the sun is born on winter solstice. Yes. Then he's betrayed, um, um, in, in Ishtar. Uh, in Easter, yes. okay, uh, and then he is uh, uh, brought back to life, and then um, he he stands. Uh, so, so so the whole the, the cycle is one year cycle: uh, birth, uh, betrayal, rebirth, birth, betrayal, rebirth, and death, death, rebirth. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. This is the m magic of this cycle that we live in if you can align yourself this is why the religions do what they do mm -hmm. because you can you can align yourself with the power that goes with that um, there's a lot of power to be taken from that so so when you have um, uh, these uh, uh, the 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 uh, I'm trying to think of it, the royalty and the president the presidents and they and they you know they're they're Christianity and they're, they're not actually worshipping that they're worshipping the ancient under the guise under the guise yes, yes. of that well they're, they're worshipping Set yeah yes yes Isis and Horus is Mother Mary and Jesus yes mm -hmm. yes yes and Set would be Lucifer yes yes, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, uh, this one eye on the top of the pyramid Mm, that's his. That's his eye. The same. Yeah, it's also mocking. Mm -hmm. And also, we are watching you, Big Brother. Sure. It's, yeah. It's it's like it's like okay. This is it's like this. It's like um, they took his eye because because Horus is a lot is, is much more powerful than all of these beings. But it's like we took his eye, we put it up there, and we're using we're using the good his eye to watch you. So it's double, it's double mock, you know, mm -hmm. double, you know, yeah, evil. Okay, so uh, who are the Anunnaki today? Because we also have the reptilian bloodlines. The, okay, the Anunnaki are, are partially reptilian. They're, they're partially reptilian. They have um, reptilian traits. Um, you remember, there's, there's about six or seven different reptilian species on the planet. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're and they're all in a caste order, mm -hmm. um, and they're very very strict caste order, and uh, they um, they they have no problem um, if you do not follow a rule or if you do not um, do what you are supposed. To, uh, they, they see every they see all of their kind as expendable if um, if if something is not done done right, and even if it is, even if you do continue uh, to do what you're supposed to do, if you have no more, be if you have no benefit to them anymore, they will get rid of you. Mm -hmm. uh, Prince, the, the death of Prince that just happened is a prime, prime example of that. There's a big ritual that this is, this is an enormous ritual that's just happened here. So the, so you know on, on the on Queen Elizabeth's birthday, Prince dies, and then um, uh, Victoria Wood, who is you know not particularly a big name, but you have Victoria in there. So you also have Victory, and you have Queen Victoria. Well, I believe Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth are the same being. Mm -hmm. I believe Queen Elizabeth the first and Queen Elizabeth the second are the same being. So you have that they are using the energy of those of that. Also, um, the the Prince Prince had a lot of uh, life force energy. So then the murder because he was murdered. The murder of him, then putting up the. Um, the the temple of Baal in in Times Square and in Trafalgar Square for three days. So you have and, and and that's the Trinity. So you have Prince, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria, Trinity energy, opening the Stargate, 
um, in Trafalgar Square, which is TS, and Times Square. Time, it's to do with time travel too, Times Square. Um, TS in basic numerology comes out to, to 39, uh, T being 20 and S being 19. So uh, 39. Um, is, if, if we're going by uh, the sun is 93 million miles away, then um, the, the inversion, an inversion of, of, of mm -hmm. if, if the sun is life giving and life force energy, the inversion of that would be um, 39 to, in, to, to invert it. So, so you have the inversion of the sun, the, the gates of Baal opening. Um, so, what, what they, and I know what they're doing because I had a dream about it as well. They're, they've opened the gates and they're, they're trying to uh, bring uh, Baal in here, and Baal is. Uh, Baal is essentially Lucifer, really. Baal is Lucifer. And Baal was Sumerian? Uh, uh, um, I, I, Baal has gone through many different names throughout time. Yeah, but the name he, Baal, he is, is it Sumerian? He's depicted with those fish uh, hat. Yes. Like the Pope has now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can go Babylonian, Sumerian, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, yeah. So, so uh, sorry. Uh, um, so, what they're trying to do is they have to they have to have a bot. <clears throat> all these all these demonic all these Goetian Goetian demonic entities um, are living disincarnate. They don't have bodies, right? They don't have bodies right now. Um, some of them do. Some of them do. Okay. But so not all of them. So they need. So um, I believe that um, <clears throat> some of these projects were put together to create a physical body so when the time comes that they can put this disincarnate body into the physical body. Mm -hmm. Like uh, one of the 42? Uh, Possibly. I don't know. Possibly. Okay. Uh, let's go back to, the, mm, to this world today. Uh, it seems to be some kind of opposition between the Jewish people, whatever they are, Sephardic or the Zionists, the others, the yeah. Zionist together, and the other one was Aryans or uh, Slavic people. Mm -hmm. How do you perceive this? How do I perceive what? This opposition. If, uh, well, if okay, it goes on for thousands as it stands, of years. Okay, I'll, I'll explain. Um, okay, so, but I, I'm not sure. I'll do my best. Um, the okay so so the 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 Jewish race I mean but it's still so difficult because the 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 Jew the Jews that we know of now only go back a few thousand years this particular line this Jewish line goes back fifty thousand years pre you know Atlantean time they weren't called Jews then of course yeah so 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 what a, this this line um, has a high reptilian uh, uh, DNA in mm -hmm. it okay. The, um, the 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 Aryan line. Um, uh, there's been for, for hundreds of thousands of years. These two these two have fought. These two uh, um, uh, opposing. Yes, have fought um, because the the this one particular reptilian line line wants the DNA from the the Aryan line and not I'm not saying that the Aryans are, 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 are all good they're, they're plenty plenty bad and have done plenty of atrocious things throughout time but the, this reptilian line is looking for specific DNA um, to take from them so that they can maintain um, at least a half decent human looking form in 3D mm -hmm. okay they okay, so the, this, that line had Lumeria, uh, and the um, the Aryans had Atlantis, and Thoth, uh, Thoth or Toth ruled for fifty thousand years pre the cataclysm that happened thirteen thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. The elite, the elite, um, and a lot uh, the high level um, Masons um, know this. A lot of this information, they know this information, and uh, they got very upset with me uh, speaking about it the last time I did. They got very upset with me about that.
Yeah. Okay, so yes. let's, let's speak more about that. I, yeah, exactly. Let's keep going. <laughs> I looked right in the camera before and told them, and told them about okay, that. Uh, so it means that those two races uh, came from different... Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, so Gaia, or Earth, has its own... Um, I'm, uh, my original, original, original form is from here. Uh-huh. From the inner Earth. Okay. I'm, I'm from um, I'm what you would probably call um, okay. uh, an inner earth angelic being is is the closest. It's called a stone mite. I'm my my type my being is called a stone mite. Okay, but there are many inner earth many. races. Mm. Mm. Have you been there? Yes. Uh, in this life, um, all the time. Okay. So I used to go to Mount Shasta all the time, and that's the female entrance to um, uh-huh. to the inner earth. So describe it. Well, I can't, it, it's 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 in a dream state. It's in a, it's in a when, in I, when I, body. I don't go like stroll there oh, yeah. and like in, go down the steps. Astral, astral mm. body, yeah. There's oceans and there's beautiful there's forests and oceans and um, beaches and um, uh, the the fruit that is there is um, um, uh, incomparable to, to anything that's here because it's so polluted to the surface. The surface is so polluted. There's pockets in the inner earth. Um, so there's plenty of reptilian species in there as well, but they all have force fields around, so they're separated off. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So where, where uh, maybe throughout throughout my life I've had... Um, 20 different times where I've had asked where I've gone there astrally they call me call me to go there and then I just go there and then they tell me tell me things and then yeah yeah they tell me things usually not to do so much with the war more to do with um, um, things that happened m- much m- m- much longer this is relatively new What's going on here is as relatively new compared to some compared to fifty million years ago. What was going on there? Uh, you know, you have the wars on Lyra that were uh, a billion years ago. So the, the the war that's happening now that's connected to Mars and Earth and and this um, trying to put together a, um, a, a, a so they have done what they're doing to this planet. They've done to m- multiple other planets mm-hmm. and they're trying to link up. All of them to want to create one giant super prison in with the heart, with system. the Earth in the, in the heart system. as the heart. Uh-huh. Yes, in this. Yes, in the solar system. The what the, the what we're shown on um, paper or textbooks um, as what as 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 our, our solar system looks like is not what it looks like. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're so, given a lot of disinformation. Okay, so what is your perception on this you have mercury venus the, those planets are there yeah okay but okay for example venus is is uh, could i have some water you think please? venus for example is in um astrology let's go I, I'm, I'm, I, I astrology i like very much and studied astrology for a long time is known as the planet of love and it's associated with love and Fem- femininity yes but first of all let's look at the word okay so you you have v which is feminine and then you have enus uh-huh. okay so what you have there is an amalgamation or a a, a a a mixture of male and female in one word okay um venus is in fact uh known as the morning star because uh-huh. it's the star in the morning that's the brightest, right? Yes. Who's also known as the morning star? Jesus. That's inverted. Lucifer is the known as uh, the morning serious? star. Serious? No, no, no. Lucifer is known as the morning star. Okay. Okay. Yes. How bright are you? There's, there's. I would show you if I could put it up. I would explain it. I would show you it. Yes. So Lucifer is known as the morning star. It's funny because they interchange Jesus and Lucifer so much, so much, and everybody gets it in their head that this is this and this is this, but then that's duality for you. Um, the, 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 this parasitic consciousness that, that, that um, rules here doesn't care what you buy into. 
It doesn't care if you buy into this religion, that religion, any religion. As long as you buy into it, and as long as you put everything you've got into it, that's, they're fine with that because it then maintains this dual fighting thing like yo you're wrong i'm right you're wrong i'm right bat or like this and by doing that it maintains the dual everything is vibrating right whoa, 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 like vibrating like this so to maintain a 3d vibrational state you have to have um right. counter yes you have well you have to have you have to make sure that you have um, black and white, and uh, you have to have two things fighting against each mm -hmm. other. If there weren't two things fighting against each other, this would cease to be uh, solid anymore. It would it would raise its vibration, and, and we wouldn't be stuck here. So it's imperative for this particular consciousness to maintain war or disagreement at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why the Jewish people. Uh, actually, the, those headquarters, those chiefs of the Jewish Jewish people, maintain this hate against them. Like they teach the children. There you go. Exactly why. <laughs> that yes. Everybody around the world is anti-Semitic. Yes. And we need to fight anti-Semitism. Yes. It's a very clever way. Another clever way to maintain the dualistic construct here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In 4D, <coughs> uh, which they do actually still have, contr they have control of, uh, less, less control of it, um, uh, there's no time, so there's no time in between where thought and then physical manifestation happens. So now, you know, if I want to go get a drink of water, then I have to stand up, go there, turn the tap, tap on, pour it in, come back, drink it. If I were uh, in 4D, um, I, w I, need, I want to have the sensation of it, I manifest the sensation of it and I have it. Mm -hmm. So I can be and do whatever I want to do there. But they, they, they do have control. There's, there, believe it or not, there is a four, there's a 4D police force. There is a, there, there's, there's an army and a police force there so, you, so that you so don't get out of control because the potential in 4D is, you know, limitless. Now then you have 5D. Um, which is then they don't have control of completely. Uh, the five D is the angelic realms. The the perhaps you would say the archangelic realms. It's where the archangels hang out, mm -hmm. and they come down here. Obviously, they don't. You know, it's it's difficult for an uh, it's difficult for um, the arc the archangels to um, be in physical bodies because it's very restrictive for them to be there. But um, yes, but they do. Um, everybody who has been th here throughout history is now incarnated here and um, we're all here for the final battle now on earth on heart we everybody who's ever been here before is back now mm -hmm. and there is no time to, to to fence sit anymore you choose a side uh, or, or you you sort of die you choose this side or you choose the dark or you choose the light that's that final battle against taking over the heart if the heart is taking over taken over human beings are then locked down for another 50,000 years and we have to do another 50,000 years of lifetime cycles Why which 50 not 26,000 no not 26,000 50,000 okay what is this cycle of 50 um i, I don't I, the mathematics are not really particularly important i don't think okay uh, so uh, this duality was also reinforced in the 20th century by so-called um, Holocaust. Yes. Which was organized by the Jews themselves. Right. Rothschild, uh, Bauer, right. Bush. The, okay, the Bauer Bush family, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, and yesterday you said that the Bush was the Bauer family, yes. but uh, we know also that Bauer was the... Uh, name of the Rothschild so yes how do you explain that because they're tricksters and they and they a lot a lot of the um, a lot of the, uh, the 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 Jews that claim to be hardcore Jews are in fact Nazis yes of course they organized everything I'm talking about in the media uh, in the mainstream entertainment industry the ones who uh, some of the ones who I'm not going to say names the ones who uh, claim to be hardcore Jews and who look very very Jewish are, are in fact not Jewish at all um, they are working on the side of the 
The Fourth Reich. Mm -hmm. mm. But the Fourth Reich already exists on Mars and uh, sure. in the solar system. And uh, on, they had the they have they pretty much have the the, the moon down. They have the moon uh, under control. But remember, not, it's not, uh, not the whole moon because there are many other races. Yes, but they are uh, up there in, mm -hmm. in terms of control. Mm -hmm. It's you know, and it's not it's not a natural satellite. Yeah, right. It's a ship. It's, it's actually like, it's, it's actually like the Death Star from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, okay. Mm. Have you been to the moon? Um. Uh, like uh, lunar operations. Uh, come I, 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 okay, I, I have been told. I have been told that I have. I have been told that I have, but I am. Um, I don't have full recall memory, so I don't want to say that I mm -hmm. have, um, un un unless I definitely know and have memories of that. Uh, what do you know about the LOC? LOC. Lunar Operations Command. Uh, nothing. Okay. Mm. Mars. Uh, those people on Mars. There was there was a project that went there was a project that went on, and certain children were picked. Um, uh, certain children were picked who had certain DNA, and. Um, uh, I was connected with that, and what 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 they did was when we were like five and six years old, they took us there, and um, they trained us, and we did, um, we learned and we trained and we did all sorts of operations when we were there. I was with the group. There was females there this time though. There was it was something like uh, twelve females and uh, twelve males and eight females. And um, then there was an. Oh, it was. It wasn't negative. I don't remember it as negative. It was a lot of training. So, so say from five years old to twenty-five years old was spent there. And I and I know some of the people. Some of the uh, some of the people now who are back here. But what they did then at the end of the um, uh, Mars uh, at the end of that thing is they used age regression mm -hmm. technology brought us back to five years old and then placed us exactly back to where we were now when I was five years old my parents moved to Los Angeles at the time out of the blue out of the blue and I lived on I, I was living on Sepulveda Boulevard and the Mars jump rooms for children uh, were on at, at 999 Sepulveda Boulevard I now know. So, um, and along, and I didn't know, so I had these memories before I, I knew that this particular information about these Mars jump rooms on Sepulveda Boulevard. Sepulveda Boulevard is in the San Fernando Valley area of um, Los Angeles, the suburb of Los Angeles. So, this age regression, 20 years. Back to back, back to back to, and then and also straight back to exactly where you were taken. Oh. So like n no memory whatsoever. Like nothing happened. Yes, and like also nothing. Happened. The same jumping back twenty years uh, 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 about this talks Randy Kramer. Yes, I didn't know that. He was a sol soldier uh, on Mars, and Corey Good also talks about. I know Boriska because I worked with him. Uh, this ra uh, Russian uh, boy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, the war on Mars, thousands of years ago, yeah. what was it about? It's the same war that's going on now. And it's... Um, it's like between the reptilians and, yeah. and mammals? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And never ending, you know? Because they are they are totally opposing genetically that you couldn't get more diametrically opposed beings they are completely opposite and to make things worse the um this 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 body that we have now um was deemed to be the most efficient uh body to function on surface earth but what they did is they they for the majority 99% is they gave us only two two stream dna mm -hmm reptilian and mammalian DNA which don't fit so that's why everybody is walking around uh, at, at odds with themselves inside because they don't go together mm -hmm. this was done on purpose to maintain the duality because because they, they because they don't mix 
we're always walking around, um, you know. And also the aspect of uh, male and female. Yes. The reptilians don't have that. Yeah, because well, they did that to split originally. Originally, um, the the uh, you know how did they pro procreate? The, the the split from male to female was to give the desire of sexuality, to 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 um, to, to to like to be complete. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because when when a male and female get together in in that way, it creates a third energy. If it's done, so but if it's inverted. You can create like extremely negative, negative, negative power. Um, if sexuality is done with violence or um, or, or anger or you know like like it, it can be used very, very, very you know, negatively. If it's done with love and compassion and kindness, mm -hmm. it's the most powerful um, energy in the universe. Mm -hmm. They know this. That's why all the all the stuff they use do is is with sex magic, mm -hmm. and Crowley introduced and refined sex magic in the tw in the twentieth century. And this negative sexuality mm. is mm, also like kind of a betrayal, which uh, breaks the absolutely heart. absolutely. So each each thing that they do is is, is another offshoot of an attack on the heart. Everything they're doing is, is an, an attack on the heart. Uh, it's very calculated, it's very contrived. It's slowly, slowly, slowly sticking pins here, 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 here until they take it over, which they're not going... They already lost. Uh -huh. They already lost. So the storyline is over, but we're just playing it out. So when? I don't know time. Did they lose? But uh, when they lost they? on Mars. Well, if, or? first of all, if you remember, there is no such thing as time. Okay. <laughs> so uh, my, that is, it's it's critical that you understand okay, that. Okay, they, they lost. So why do they still play that? Because yes. they like it. Okay. They like the game. Yes. This down here, they even call it the game. Uh huh. Do you know why? Because there's nothing like pleasures of the flesh. There's nothing else in on the, there's no other incarnation on this in this universe where you can get the pleasures you can in I mean you say that people say that um you know in these higher frequencies these that um the 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 feelings that you get are you know uh, bliss but, but if you're in a physical 3D flesh body and you're also experiencing these things there there isn't anything comparable to it so they like it. So what they want to do is they want to have, they want to keep this body, stay in this body for et eternity, and um, have uh, a thousand year Reich that is coming up of peace, mm -hmm. and then start again, start the war again, and start war again for a thousand years, and then stop and have peace for a thousand years. And they want, that's how they want to do it, continually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not and not age, because if they age and die, then then they have to start. Fa then they have to face um, some things that they've done. <laughs> uh, aging is for the people, but they have technology to be young. They have young. technology to reg to regress age. Yes. I have a friend who uh, uh, did a lot of research about the Second World War and he met some German ex-soldiers who now should be like 90, 100 years old. Yes. And when they come to Poland to visit those places, they yeah. are very strong. 50, 60, yes. yeah, yeah, like Mengele, Joseph Mengele. Mm -hmm. He should be 120 years old now. He's He lives in New York and um, he looks like he's 50 years old, continuing his work. He, uh, have you seen him? No, I, I don't even like thinking about him. <laughs> okay, and... He's the one who did twinning. Uh, stuff with yes. me, with me. Uh, how do they do that? What is the technology about? What is what? The technology of age regression. Oh, how does it? Well, I'm not a scientist. Um, I, I, I would guess. I would hazard a guess that um, 
uh, the original, so your core DNA um, always stays the same. So it has all the imprints uh, in, inside it of um, what you looked like when you were 10, what you looked like when you were 20. So they go inside of there and then they um, attach to a particular age there and then they um, uh, manifest or create that or recreate that part. Like if you lose a limb. Mm -hmm. The limb isn't really gone. Yeah, it's, it's, yes, so there's a holographic, so that it's so then they can just regrow it that way. Now they can clone. They it used to take them, you know, a, a day or two or two or three, four days to clone a human being. Now they can clone another being in in an hour. There's many clones of me around. Uh, my um, girlfriend had seen multiple clones of me before, in different countries. Hmm. Yeah. Also messing around in a hotel when I was staying in a hotel, um, um, I had left to go and do something, and th that she said she looked over and she's like Max, she's pointing over to me, and um, uh, th this this guy didn't turn his head around, but it, it you know it was identical to me, and he sh slipped around there. She ran after him and looked for him. Um, he had, he'd gone. It's done to uh, confuse and create, cause chaos. Uh, as somebody said to me the other day, were you, were you in um, uh, 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 St. Louis uh, in, uh, in America like a week ago? I, I saw you. No, no, I wasn't. But this happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure you're attacked. Yes, very much. I have to do a lot of work to not get her okay. harmed, but also I have. I, I also have. I'm a guardian to a number of people too. So, because I, I, I came down here, um, as not just that, I came down here as a, a, to take care of certain people as well. I knew who they were when I, I've known who they've been for some time. So I know who who they are and where they are and how to, how to do it. I don't, how, how do I do it? I, 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 it's very difficult to explain because I, I, just, I, I just know. I just know how to do it. I do a lot of visualization exercises. Um, I, I do, um, um, uh, there's my, my higher self who, who sees, who, who has full understanding of exactly what's going on. If I just, you know, keep in touch with him um, he sort of gives me the go ahead to go this way or that way. This version, okay, so the person that you're speaking to me, speaking to now, is my front altar. So this is the Max altar. This isn't. Um, there are there are many other ones that do many other things. Mm -hmm. Multiple other ones that do many other different things. So you mean one soul in different bodies? Um, no, soul. I don't know if you, soul is not the correct word. Um, they they call it um, DID dissociative identity disorder. So it's an identity. So you could uh, you could perhaps say that the um, uh, the altar is a is a an individual identity, a separate identity with different abilities, um, different understanding, different um, ways of doing things. My eyes change color um, from one altar to another. Uh -huh. Soul uh, catching, soul ha harvesting unit on the moon. 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 Yeah. Don't go to the light. I uh, yes, you know I hear that all the time too. Okay. It's very difficult not to, isn't it though? Yeah. Uh, yesterday you said don't go to the light. No, it's false light. It's trick. Okay, trick. So. When someone dies and sees the tunnel, yes. Then what to do? Uh, go straight to your heart. Close your eyes if you can. Or but but if you don't have the body, how can you have feelings of the heart level? Just because you don't have physical body, you you still have the the the, the understanding that you had a body. Uh, just because. Somebody told me one time, death is no cure for ignorance. Um, so just because you die um, doesn't mean that... Um, okay, well, that, has, that, has, that has a double meaning. Um, for the first meaning of that is um, 
if you were, if when you were alive, you were doing this, that, and the other, and that that wasn't so good, that um, doesn't mean that you know uh, when you die, you're all of a sudden going to be enlightened and know everything. So it's not a, it's not a cure for ignorance in that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, when you die, um, you're still very, very, very attached to th the the 3D world. And so, you know, you, you, you very well sti still will have the feelings of a body. You may not feel the pain or, or any of that, but you will still have it. But <clears throat> the energy fields that run from here to here uh, are, still, are still there. Um, so you can always, always... Heart is sort of God, God source. So you can always go there. Mm -hmm. So you go there. Okay. And uh, let's go back to the duality and protection. Uh, many people teach how to protect themselves from uh, uh, outside attacks. Mm. But um, when you have the idea of protection, uh, it means that you have external enemy. Uh, it's like duality. It's also creating opposition. So isn't it better to have the idea of Unity. Okay, I'm not quite sure you understand the question. Can you ask me again, please? Yeah, uh, some people are attacked and the others are not attacked. Uh -huh. And those who, who is not attacked, everybody is attacked. Everybody. Yeah. It's a war on the human heart, on the human being, so everybody's attacked. But if someone is in his or her heart totally, like the, the, enlightened being, there isn't one. No? No. So everybody has to protect? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even after leaving the body? When? At what point? Give me an example of why, when you're leaving the body. Uh, when you... You mean death? Death, yeah. Okay. Death... Um, death is what? Transition to another dimension. Um, yeah, so so you're transitioning to. Do you think that the dimension that you transition to is um, is um, all love, light, and free and happiness? Depending it, 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 on it, it, who it, it, you are. No, 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 no. It, it, it isn't. No, the war continues there too. Three uh -huh. D anchor. Three D is anchoring down um, the rest, and until it is dealt with here, and until this is fixed. Um, it's causing trouble for the other higher frequencies too. That's why the higher, higher vibrational beings are incarnating down here to help because it's been going on too long now. It's really, really been going on so long that um, um, and, and you know people are not realizing it's so in your face. It's so clearly in your face and that people are still not realizing that it's going on, that, that pedophilia is becoming acceptable on television, that, that, that they're inverting sexuality, that they're emasculating men, that they're masculizing females. I mean, it, it's so blatantly obvious, and um, it, 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 it disgusts me that um, people are still not paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of boring that this nonsense prevails yes <laughs> and also so I think boring is a very very light weight term for what I feel yeah okay so let's say that knowing all this I decide I quit from this game I want to leave this game you can't <laughs> so who decides if I can leave it or not don't I have free will no you have the illusion of free will. They made you think you have it, but you don't. But this planet is the planet of free will. No, it's not. No? No. What about those enlightened masters? Mm -hmm. Haven't they... The enlightened masters you're talking about, like the yogis, etc., etc., uh -huh. just have... Um, they, they, they serve. So they're, they're here helping others who are still watching um, soap operas on television uh, and um, eating cheeseburgers. So they're, they're, they're here to help them. They, they have a mastery of the 4D, so they can do a lot of work in 4D. But they are far from um, able to leave, excuse me, 
they're far from being able to leave because you can't leave until this is fixed. Yeah. How would you describe the solution for this game uh, to be finished? It, it, the game goes on. Well, it has been going on because we're stuck in a time loop and we're looping over and over again. And, and I said before, and I said in the speech, that there is a window opening that's now. And um, so we have an opportunity to break out of it. We have an opportunity now. Okay. We're, this is a repeat of what happened 13,000 years ago yes. when we lost in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. And then a lot, a lot of the priests, I was part of the priesthood then, although I was, doing, I was working... Um, also, with this, to to find out what was going on with the scientists, and then um, um, bringing back information to the priesthoods, so we could find out what they were doing. But when the cat when the cataclysm happened thirteen thousand years ago, my group went underground and went into the inner earth, and we stayed there for a very long time. And then we came out again in Egyptian times, and then um, I was who I was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. I, I remember the I remember multiple uh, lifetimes that I've had. Okay, so you said we have the opportunity now. Yeah. Uh, what should we do to fulfill this opportunity, not to waste? Um, what, 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 what we do is what we're doing. Um, um, speaking, um, uh, get, get, doing conferences. Um, um, but but we need we need we need a television outlet. Uh, this needs I need to get I need to get onto a uh, 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 so that it can get out to a bigger audience because I know that the people who are drawn to listen to what I'm saying are the ones who um, were doing this work back then as mm -hmm. well, and they'll remember. Mm -hmm. the, and then all of, remember they have also um, encoded into their DNA. Uh, implants in their DNA to wake them up at certain times, mm -hmm. so that <clears throat> through phonetics, <clears throat> sounds in in my voice and in others' voices too will then spark that to wake up. So then, then they know what to do because there's no time left. This year is the year they're going to bring out uh, this particular being. They've already done it. You mean Lucifer? I would. You can use that word. Okay, what for? To to continue the cycle? To rule. To rule? To have the fascist system? No, no, fascist, no, 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 no. It's sort of more of a, like an anarchistic, um, debauched, vile system. Mm -hmm. They're going to destroy the temple in Jerusalem, rebuild it, and he will sit on the throne there. And uh, for the new world order? Yes. Laughing that he has Horus's eye. Uh -huh. This year, um, the pre the preparation is happening this year. It's hap it's, it, it's happening. Okay, uh, this year June in Poland uh, there will be the biggest military uh, training exercise. Wonder why. <laughs> And parallelly in France uh, we'll have uh, soccer games. You know, France uh, a lot of. Uh, Islamists. Why? Is it Euro? Yes. Okay, yeah. Euro, is it Euro 2016? Yes. Oh, it's here? Yeah. They're holding it here? Uh, in France. Okay, okay. Very interesting. And the same, uh, and parallel uh, military, huge military exercise. Now, ah, ah, I remember like the World Cup and the Euro Cup, they're all big harvesting exercises. Uh -huh. um, all, all, all sport is fixed. Yeah. Every single sport is fixed um, on every level. Um, they, they, um, they would never allow it to be... F because they are fear-based, parasitic mentality, they uh, will not allow two teams or two people or two fighters to uh, uh, go at it unless they controlled both of them under any circumstance. Okay, and uh, you mentioned the word implants. If someone has implants, how can they remove it? I don't know. Is there any way to? Yeah, th there's different people. There's different. There's different. Um, I'm gonna take my jacket off. Sorry. Uh, 
there's different people who have the, like those abilities to do that type of thing. Um, I, I mean, are you asking me to give you names or? or? No, no, let's say if someone has implants in the brain. Right. How can this person de deactivate or remove it completely? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That you'd have to go to somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't. I don't do that. You know. I don't. I know people who who have done it, and I've had work done on me. Um, I had a lot of heart uh, damage done to me throughout this life, and so I had some 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 uh, some amazing help in 2010 um, that uh, saved me, basically saved my life because they knew that that this person knew that what I was going to be doing uh, now. So he, he helped me. He gave me another heart. I have two hearts. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe the last question. Uh, what happened that you woke up and realized that... Okay. I always, I always knew. I always sort of knew, even when I was little. I always knew because I, um, strange things were always happening to me. and. I I always just from 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 the beginning, um, I um, would be in strange laboratories with people with lab coats asking me to do tests, um, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, I I've had experiences with uh, um, um, working doing with I. I they use me as a breeder to to breed, um, to to create children, mm -hmm. and then the, and then and then they would have me play with the children because, so that the children would become more human. Because if they're always brought up with, uh, you know, uh, sentient, uh, uh, um, non-emotional entities, they won't be able to fit into society. So that they would take me. What well, could you? You, you so, understand? So the mothers were not human. Um, the, the mothers weren't even that they were created. So the sperm and the ovum was were put together and then made, built, like building blocks. No mother. Uh -huh. With me? Kind of. Oh, which part don't you understand? No, which uh, you can build a child without a mother. Uh huh. Just synthetic. Uh, well, yes. Yeah, semi semi synthetic because it's still sperm and egg, so mm -hmm. there's 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 and, and the fluid, the proper uh, yeah 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 absolutely. Um, sometimes the mother is used to to nurture, and sometimes the father. They try out every different type of experiment, possible one to see what they can do. I can only speak from my experience, and so for for me, um, I had. Uh, one particular one was um, an Asian, a little Asian boy, and I and I uh, was I spent a number of years going to see him and um, teaching him um, te telekinetic uh, abilities. I would move blocks, we, we move blocks into different shapes, and then he would look and smile at me and then copy me. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that we would do hours and hours and hours and hours like that, and they would take me in a uh, lot of a lot of laboratory work, lots of lab work, um, hooking me up to um, uh, uh, things, you know, and testing. I don't know if it's IQ. I, I I don't know. I know that they do IQ tests, but IQ is so so you know nothing really. I, I intelligent quotient means very little. But they did that, and they do other tests as well. And um, so then they would give me all the. They would explain to me what they meant and why they did that, and and what the results were, and why they needed to use me, and because the uh, because I have um, a creator energy, I have a creator specific gene inside of me which allows me to create uh, f physical reality very fast. So they hijacked a lot of my abilities and made me build things that I didn't want to do, yeah. that I didn't want to build. How do you uh, mentally move things? How do you do it? Yeah. Um, you would connect with the energetic signature of the, th with, the th with the thing itself 
and then you would do it that way. Uh -huh. mm. uh, so also, <coughs> you can kill people yes. from distance this way. Yes. Just doing something inside the body. Yes. <coughs> uh -huh. Yes. Some of the super soldiers uh, are specialists. Uh, well, they try and do it to me all the time. They try and try, they try and raise my heartbeat up. Try and give me a heart attack all the time, and they try and do black magic on me all the time. It's funny, really, because the uh, the ones, the cheap ones that try and do it, um, um, think that they have these. But they do voodoo. They make voodoo dolls too, and they uh, they try and um, pull pins from voodoo dolls, and they're so. Um, They're so low down, they're so low down, they think that they're um, like a lot more powerful than they are. Mm -hmm. And um, if somebody tries to do black magic on me, I get images, uh, images in my head with it hours beforehand. So I'm shown that it's going to happen. So I just, I, I immediately defend um, the parts of my body or anything. Do you send like. it back to them? Uh, I, 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 I mirror it, I mirror it back to them. I don't, I don't, I, I could, I could, I could seven times it and I could, but I don't do that because that then carries consequences and karma and uh, I don't need any more of that. Okay, so if someone uh, uh, <coughs> was attacked by uh, voodoo... Some, some people like to use crystals to try and use, uh, to try and um, harm and, um, uh, you know, which is just, I mean, evil because, you know, uh, cr crystals are creative uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, and you know, it's it's those types that are you know the the lower sort of vibrational beings who they're sort of like fleas. You know what I mean? Get off! Yeah. If someone has a doll for attacking, yeah, uh, uh, like voodoo, a voodoo doll. Voodoo, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw one. So somebody built one the other day to to, to do to me. Okay, uh, how do I you saw them build it? How to new, new neutralize it? Yes. Um, you th you throw. Um, there's a number. I don't want to give away too many secrets. But, um, but one of them. Uh, one of them. Um, I would just put. I, I would put a field. I would. I would put a field around the doll itself, um, the poorly made doll itself, and then I would um, put a uh, um, a mirror around the face of the person doing it. So they would have to look at their face, and then that would that would frighten them. But they don't want to. They don't like to see themselves because they're very insecure. These people who do this are very insecure. They don't like themselves. Uh -huh. They don't like themselves. They don't. They don't really like to even see themselves. Uh -huh. They're like the old hags from you know in uh, you know in Snow White. You know, like you know, they come across, first of all. They look, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, isn't it better uh, to exchange the the personal signature of the doll, like someone attacks you, uh, yeah. uh, with the person who attacks? Oh, I did that too. Okay, so it's one of your secrets. <laughs> it's I, it's I, not I, a secret now. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's also well, my, my invention. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, well, you that was perfect. What you do is you just change. Um, That, so then they they try and make a doll that looks like it's so cheap though it's so cheap it like play. oh my no it, it it could it could work on somebody who doesn't you know who doesn't really know about these things but um, this is old world stuff I'm now dealing with um, uh, advanced uh, stuff new like much 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 more advanced okay you don't have to do ritual and ceremony to do magic or creation at all. You can create here, right now, instantly, immediately, this way. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so what? Why do they still do those stupid rituals? Because they're because they're stuck in that. The, the, it's it's um, you know it, it's it's an addiction. Mm -hmm. They're addicted to the old world. Oh, stupid. Yeah, yeah, very stupid. Yeah, very stupid. They, so they 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 they're gonna get this. They're gonna get this. Okay, I promise. Uh, you are tired, so let's finish uh, at this point. Maybe you want, you would like to say some conclusion. Yes. Okay. I would like to. Um, I would like to thank um, um, some amazing people who have come into my life. Um, my mother, and I would like to thank um, uh, 
all the wonderful people who are standing, and, and you, sir, as well, for uh, interviewing me and uh, giving me this experience. Thank you very much, and um, wonderful to meet you. Thank you. You are wonderful. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll keep, t I'll keep telling you the truth. I'm always going to do that. Thank you.